Emma Booth looking divine this evening in this sparkly number. In uh, Leah de Gloria. Just She's something simple. simple. Well, just something <laughs> simple. You know, just chucked it on today. But uh, yeah, she made it for me. I got it at eight o'clock last night and I was like, oh my gosh, if this doesn't fit, I'm in, I'm in trouble. But it fits. Do you know what that looks like to me? That looks like a winner's dress. Oh gosh, who knows? How are, you, how are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. It was all, I've just hopped off of a uh, plane from LA, so I'm, yes, a day ago. I don't even know what day it is right now, and I, and I fly out tomorrow, so it's all a bit of a whirlwind, but, you know, two nominations. I had to come back for it. It's been 10 years since my last nomination and win, so I was like, whatever way it goes, I'm happy. I feel stoked to be nominated twice. Now, I want to ask you a little bit about, we're asking people who would play them in a movie of their life. What, who I'd like to play me? Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, even though we don't really look the same. Oh, I think we're similar in personality in some way. I don't know. I ran, I, I ran into her the other day at the park and I was like, hey. Oh, you just ran. She goes, oh my God, we've got the same dog. My dog's such a narcissist. She doesn't like anyone. But look, it's getting along with your dog. And I was like, oh my God, it's Jennifer. I'm fangirly. Yeah, I mean, I we're just like, Jennifer, I've got this script for you. It's a movie about my life. I think you need to play me in a film. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? No. I love that. I love her. I love her. I'm obsessed with it. I am wearing a different suit than I have worn for the last eight years. It is different or it's not different? Different suit. No, because up until... Up until like yesterday, I've been wearing my same suit from Thailand for the last eight years. Where is your suit from? This is a caliber number, caliber Sydney. And it looks not right. It's like, I was like, I put it on, I was like, oh my God, I actually feel nice. It fits me. And it doesn't smell like tiger, <laughs> you know, singer beer. So um, yeah, no, it's just great. It's great, but it's good to be here. This is my first actor, so I'm, I'm excited. You've probably been to a billion arias, but this would be your first actor. I, I've been wondering, I've been wanting to see the difference between audiences. I think arias, um, everyone's like way more like cool, you know? They're like, nah, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to dress up in a suit. I'll wear like, I don't know. Kelton show my doodle. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, none of that for me. We've well, been asking people, you know, if there was going to be a movie on their life, who would play them? Hopefully a better actor than me, I gotta tell ya. I didn't I didn't win the actor that I was nominated for on Monday, so maybe Zara Newman can play me. She won she won the actor that I was nominated for, so she can play me in the story of my life. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you so much. You must be so excited, particularly for a role like this. Yeah, excited's a weird word to use when you're talking about this film. I kinda of play a psychopathic serial killer. Um, I was quite excited to receive the script. <laughs> and then I sort of went, ooh, ooh. And I was looking through it going, so where's the bumbling guy walking in the door and falling over? And he didn't exist. And I suddenly realized that they wanted me to play the serial killer. So I started growing my mustache and uh, Bob's your uncle. It's, it's pretty terrifying. I actually haven't been able to push myself to watch it because I'm so scared. Well, even just seeing the trailer is going to scare anyone out of their wits. So uh, yeah, it is. It's an amazing piece of filmmaking. Ben Young behind me here. Ben Young, our filmmaker and our writer of Hounds of Love. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Extremely scary and tense and amazing piece of piece of filmmaking. And he's been doing well. Uh, very well. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. I've been busy ever since. It's he hasn't really cast me in any of his Hollywood films yet, so we're just we're going to have a chat about that tonight. Yeah. Is this yeah. the right forum for this? I, I think it's perfect. okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Once you win the actor. Yes. Yes. And he'll have to. Oh, is that what it is? If I've got the if I've got the gong, the show I, goes I on. I want to work with award winners. Oh, okay, right. Saying. Okay. Well, what happens when I get beaten by a nine-year-old Indian boy? Well, I've been writing a film for him for months. Oh, okay, right. Okay, am I might down to the last two for the role? It'll be good. Whoever gets the gong tonight can should that take role. that role. Yeah, absolutely. So it's between you and Sunny Pawar. Sunny Pawar can play anything, trust me. In fact, he was down to the last two to play me in Hounds of Love. It was he's a freak, that kid. It's unbelievable. He is adorable. He is adorable. He is, he is adorable. We should see him with a moustache, though. He's real creepy. <laughs> really creepy. Well, we've been actually asking people, maybe you can answer this question as well. If you were going to play a movie, if someone was going to have a movie of your life, Ooh. who would play you? Who would play me? Sonny Pawar, <laughs> I would say. He can play, he can literally play anything. Somebody, or Nicole Kidman. <laughs> 
anyone out of Lyon, Dev Patel, uh, probably not David Wenham, uh, but everyone else in Lyon, I think, could play me. Yeah. How about you? Oh, Stephen Curry, obviously. You know, look at us, twins. If I ever make a movie about Sonny Pawar's life, <laughs> this guy. How are you going? I'm yeah. so good. You Thank look you. beautiful tonight, as always. Well, it's so different for me wearing something so kind of pretty and, yeah, feel... But you've got the really cool, like, graphic liner to kind of... Yeah, I wanted to balance it out a little bit. You know, the Capalazzo Couture made me this amazing dress and I needed a little bit of edge to... I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I can't see anything because my eyes have been blinded. Oh, aren't they extraordinary? Holy dooly, where are these things from? So these are from House of Cador, my favourite jeweller, but check this out. So they custom made this half a million dollar... <laughs> Oh yeah. my god! I know. I'm like, it's it's twisted on, so it's not going anywhere. I hope, babe. You're not gonna have an earlobe at the end of the night. I'll be in trouble if if I lose it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will lose it. What an exciting year for you! I'm so excited to see Ride Like a Girl. How is that all going for you? Yeah, very close. Very close to shooting. Haven't shot it yet. Everyone thinks it's already in the can. It's not. These things take much. They're like elephant pregnancies. They take a really long time. Everyone's jumping the gun. Everyone's assuring me that this is actually a very quick process, comparative to other films that have taken 10 years to bring to screen, but yes, we're very close. And the amazing Teresa Palmer in the lead. It's gonna be extraordinary. And you directing, which is so exciting. Yes, I hope I have that problem. I think I'm gonna have that problem. But yeah, two years producing, I'm about to change hats and um, yes, get real on the, on the image making side of it. But you know what? Um, Two years, you know, two years ago, I thought this was a story for our time. That has not changed. And I have the odd moment where I think, oh, are we in a bubble and no one really wants this story? And then I had the window cleaners turn up the other day. And I just said to my producer, I said, are we in a bubble? Maybe, maybe Australia doesn't want this film. And the butt door buzzes, the window cleaners come and he goes, so you financed yet? I said, what, what do you mean? He said, oh, I heard you talking to, uh, in the Herald Sun in the bird cage. Are uh, you looking for finance for the film? Are you saying, is it up? And I said, yeah, I think we're there. He goes, oh, good one. I want to see that film. I was like, I called Richard and I said, yeah, yeah. No, I think they do want to see the film. I think it's going to be amazing. And we love those female driven stories. And we're seeing such a, such a you know, trend with that at the moment because it's fantastic. And this is a very healing story. I think it's going to come at the end of a very difficult year of a lot of difficult conversations. Um, but this, our film really is about what women can achieve when they have dreams, when they're resilient and men champion them. And my men are heroes. My characters are heroes. So I think it, it'll, be a, it'll be a beautiful kind of healing film. Well, hopefully in the next year or two, we'll see you right back here with a couple of tick ticks next to your name. You said it. Another beautiful year at the Actors, celebrating Aussie film and TV. Yeah. Absolutely. We have to every year. And now we're celebrated around the world, it's even more important. And nominated again. Yes. Again. It must be getting a bit like, oh. No, this is only my second nomination, the first time I won. So, um, same category, same character. So I feel thrilled because you always want to keep the standard up when you go into a season three, which it is. So I feel um, very honoured to even be here. Who would play? You, in a movie about you. Meryl Streep. Ooh, that's a good one. Blanchett. Yes, very, very much. The Trailblazer. Yeah. How does that feel? Oh uh, yeah, it feels good. Weird, a little yeah, excited. It feels a little weird. It feels like, yeah, no, it feels good. Any kind of thing like that feels a bit strange for me, but it's all right. How did you find out about the award? Um, someone called me. Yeah. Come on, it wasn't a, like, a, you know, you were in the car, you know, going to the grocery, going oh. to get the grocery. Look, I was a little bit like, I was a little bit like, me? Trailblazer? Like, I've been sort of around forever and I, I had this sort of preconceived idea that a trailblazer was someone that was young and, you know, wild and crazy, you know. And you're working on this amazing new Tim Winton breath, which is coming out soon. Well, the book was out in 2008 and I've... I read it at school. You did? Really? I did. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, we've made a film of it and uh, it'll, it'll be released in May next year. And a directorial debut for you as well? So I directed the film, yeah. And how was it directing and starring in it? 
Oh, it's it's uh, it's okay. It's a little challenging, but I like that challenge. Keeps you pretty sort of occupied. Switched on. Yeah. You're presenting an award. I am. Which award are you presenting? Apparently, best comedy. Someone just told me because I wasn't sure, but you are very funny. Oh, 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 I don't know about that, but thank you. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not so hilarious. I'm not smart enough to be funny, but... Now, we're asking everyone tonight, if there was a movie on their life, on Sophie Monk's life, who would play you? It'd be Zoolander. It'd be like when they're doing interviews where it's ridiculous and they don't know what they're talking about. That would be me. So, so Ben Stiller would play you yeah. in your life? Yeah. Killed it. Do you know what? I really see the resemblance. It's like, oh... It's just that world of just, we don't know what we're talking about, we're talking shit about politics and I don't know anything. Do you have any favourite movies or TV shows this year? What was a real standout for you? Um, I'd have to say Shameless. I like that as a TV show. Um, on Australian TV, I like all of them. I'm proud of us. We're doing really well. Yeah, I, I mean, I think a lot of people will be saying The Bachelorette. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, I, I mean, it did well, luckily, but um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've got to ask you about your dress. Where is this lovely thing from? Okay, and I've got to ask my friend where it's from. Hang on. Wait for it. Here we go. Oglia Lauro Couture. And the hair? And then hair and makeup was Liz, my friend. Oh, I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's a tip. Subscribe to The Hype to see all the latest in celebrity news when Hollywood hits our island home.